What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing the preview between Manchester City and RB Leipzig in the Champions League. That's right, Champions League football. It's back 15th of September 2021, Manchester City taking on RB Leipzig at the Etihad Stadium with an 8pm BST kickoff time. There's chaos at this moment in time in terms of tickets. Hopefully that will all get sorted and everything will run smooth and everyone that is going to the game will will have a fantastic game, a fantastic spectacle on their hands and they'll have plenty of entertainment whilst watching the game. I am expecting to be probably quite a few empty seats in this, which means the empty seat brigade will be out in full force as well. So yeah, but before I crack on with this video, make sure like always, if you are enjoying the content, you want to help support my channel and do subscribe, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Also, don't forget social media links in the description below and slide and across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorship for any videos or any general business inquiries. Leave a thumbs up as well if you do enjoy this video and do let me know your thoughts in the comments below, including your score and team prediction for this game. Lastly, before I crack on with this video, it's sponsored, it's brought to you by the best footballing app out there, One Football. This video is brought to you by One Football. If you want to download the One Football app, all you need to do is press the link at the top of my description, which will take you forward to where you can download this app. The One Football app is extremely useful if you are a huge football fan just like me. It provides you with the latest footballing news, transfer news, and the latest videos as well. It is one source of information of where I get my transfer news from. It also allows you to see the latest scores with what's happening in the footballing world if you just click on a game including any Manchester City game it will not only bring up the latest team news but it will also bring up the latest statistics and keep you up to date with everything happening in that game if you want to download this app all you need to do is press the link at the top of the description to stay up to date Thank you very much to OneFootball for sponsoring this video. It is much appreciated. If you want to go and stay up to date with all the latest football news, transfer news, latest scores, statistics, live league tables, live updates throughout the game, commentary, lineups, and all your footballing needs, then do go and download the OneFootball app. Use the link at the top of my description. That would be much appreciated by me because that does help to support the future content created here on my channel. It's a free app to download, so any help towards that would be amazing. So let's crack on with this preview. We're looking to go one better than last year with our Champions League campaign. We, of course, got to the final loss to Chelsea. I'm not over that, I will add. I'm not over that. And I'm hoping that the burning desire that a lot of the fans show, that I show, uh, is going to be reflected across with the players. And I'm sure it will be. They're a competitive bunch. They'll want to win the big years. They'll want to go and win the European Cup. And so I'm hoping that they'll use that loss as motivation to go one better. And our campaign starts here. It starts now. Etihad Stadium in Manchester, a game between Manchester City and RB Leipzig. This isn't going to be a, an easy game either. Uh, and actually, this is actually a really important game for us because I look at our group and I probably would regard RB Leipzig as decent quality and I'd be regarding them as the third best team in the group. That is of no disrespect to Club Bruges, by the way, but I would, um, uh, I would suggest that RB Leipzig are probably the third best team in the group and so you would think that uh, if the group is going to be competitive that uh, if Manchester City wanted to make it to the last 16 which would obviously be the bare minimum expectation for us in this group uh, that we would be wanting to get a positive result here with a home team and it's uh, important that we've got our next game in the Champions League, which is an away game in Paris, that we're wanting to target this game to get the three points, so it's easing any pressures going into that game in Paris in a couple of weeks' time, meaning that we're not needing to go to Paris and get a result, because if we don't win this game, then uh, all of a sudden we're, we're putting ourselves in a position where we may be needing something in Paris, which to me, uh, I feel like our best opportunity of picking up six points from these two group games uh, would be for us to win this game against RB Leipzig, it takes the pressure off us and then we can go into that match with no expectation in Paris and then that will allow us to play our natural game which I'm confident uh, if we can do that and play to the best of our ability not only can we win this game but in a couple of weeks we can beat PSG in Paris as well we did it last year I'm confident that we can do it again this year but RB Leipzig they're no mugs um, yes 
in my opinion, I don't think they're as good as what they have been over the last couple of seasons. We know there's no Dea Upa Meccano. He's gone to uh, Bayern Munich. Timo Werner, we know, has left RB Leipzig and gone to Chelsea last summer. And Nangledman, their quality manager, he's left and he's now managing Bayern Munich as well. And so this little core... Uh, assets that they had to their club are no longer there however still got some quality about them and certainly players that can cause us problems new signing Andre Silva up top of course linked uh, with a move to Manchester City from Frankfurt earlier this summer Danny Olmo fantastic quality player as well Yusuf Poulsen he could well be leading the line for them uh, former Barcelona young player Ilan Mariba another player that was linked with Manchester City in the summer he could well be started in the centre of midfield for uh, RB Leipzig as well and uh, one player I'm particularly excited to see for this game is Angelino, former Manchester City man, playing as a left wing back. He'll want to get forward, he'll want to cause us problems, he'll want to get assists, and I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what he can do because I think Angelino is a high quality player. And I'm, uh, it, it genuinely does make me quite sad that uh, Angelino, uh, when he returned back to Manchester City, that it didn't work out because I, I rate him. I think he's an absolutely fantastic wing back. Unfortunately, we don't play wing back, so when he played as left back for us, it never really worked worked out um, and so I just think he's a high quality player and I think he's actually one of their biggest uh, assets and uh, one of the danger men for us to be looking out for in this game because the quality of his crosses and whipping balls in they're very accurate and if our defence aren't on it particularly with our high line as well it could well be exposed I'm expecting Leipzig to be doing a lot of running closing down the gaps and making life very difficult for Manchester City so it's important that we play our game and we make this game all about quality because pound for pound we have better quality in my opinion and if we can make this game about quality then I'm confident that we can come out with a really positive result which would be a fantastic way to start our Champions League campaign but uh, if we're not on it, then RB Leipzig more than capable of getting a really good result. And this game, I'm really excited for it. I'm excited for it because Champions League games, you just never know what to expect. Um, I can argue a case that I'm uh, matching a couple of weeks' time against PSG. I know what PSG are going to play like. I know what's going to happen. I know what's going to turn up. They're a team full of quality. Whereas with RB Leipzig... They're the underdogs, and they're just going to turn up and do their thing. And Manchester City are going to turn up and do their thing. Uh, and sometimes that just leads to, uh, sometimes you get a hammer in, like a 4-0, a 5-0, and there's no competitiveness there. But equally, you're just as likely to see a really competitive game, a 2-2, a 3-3, or City being shell-shocked and end up losing the game. And it's just extremely unpredictable. So this game against Leipzig, this game against Club Bruges, uh, there's no expectations on these teams and they're going to turn up and just play football and want to do their thing and make an impression. And so it's going to make not only for an entertaining game uh, but also going to make life pretty difficult for Manchester City. I also think there's uh, another chance that we could go out there and absolutely annihilate the team as well, which I don't think will happen against PSG. I think they'll be two very close games both in Paris and in Manchester. So we'll see. But RB Leipzig, under new management, being led by Jesse Marsh. He's an American who managed RB Salzburg. Uh, he also managed New York Red Bulls as well. So well-connected in the Red Bull sports industry. Uh, that's who City are going to be taking on. And uh, Leipzig, in terms of the Bundesliga, not got off to the best starts. Uh, four games in, only won one game. Scoring five, conceding six goals. Sitting 12th in the Bundesliga. Their one uh, win this season's come at home in a 4-0 win against Stuttgart. They haven't won on the road this season as of yet their last game they lost at home against Bayern Munich at the weekend by four goals to one uh, so that's where RB Leipzig are sitting at so my expectation for this game is for Manchester City to win this game and I'm confident that City can win this game our last three games scoring 11 goals conceding none solid uh, we have an incredible bench that was on show against Leicester City. I'm um, expecting plenty of rotation for Manchester City going into this game. Uh, and I am expecting to see Phil Foden and Kevin De Bruyne both making their return for Manchester City and quite possibly going into the starting eleven as well. Now, in terms of betting tips for this game, Foden, if he starts a goal any time, is my tip. If Fernandinho starts, I'm going for a yellow card any time for him as well. I reckon this will be both teams to score and my other tip will be for over three and a half goals in this game. My score prediction for this game, I'm going for 3-1 to Manchester City. That would be a really good result. Get us up and running. Uh, it puts us under less pressure going into the match uh, against PSG in Paris as well. That's sandwiched between two very difficult Premier League games away against Chelsea and away against Liverpool as well. So the 
these results now important get the points on the board so when we get into these big important weeks that are coming up then it eases the pressure on us and allows us hopefully to play our natural game now i'm going to pop up my team prediction now for you uh, i'm doing rotation in mind off that bench and also first team plays because this is an important game it's a champions league game and city will be taking it serious so will pep i'm going for edison in goal walker right back cancelo left back stones and diaz starting as our center backs fernandinho to start in defensive midfield gundogan doing the double pivot and kevin de bruyne playing further ahead and he can drop deep or drift out wide as well which would allow going for mares and foden starting on the wings allow them to cut in and i'm going for raheem still to start up top ahead of Ferran Torres just to give Torres a little rest could see Jesus go through the middle that remains to be seen we could see De Bruyne act as our false nine again allows us an extra space in the middle someone might start so that's my thoughts anyway uh, so yeah let's go I'm looking forward to the game. Anyone that's going to the game, do hope you have a fantastic time. Don't forget, though, if you did enjoy this video, leave a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, including your score and team prediction for this game. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. Press that red button, press the bell, and put your push notifications on. Social media links, they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. Do go and check out today's video sponsor. Sponsor one football link at the top of my description. You want to go and download the free app, the best footballing app out there, in my opinion. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well, and I'll see you all again tomorrow. Live watch along, it returns for the game between Manchester City and RB Leipzig. Champions League campaign gets underway now. So I'll see you then. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now. <laughs>